Have you ever watched or read something which is set in a mythical place that you wish you could visit? In this video, we are going to rank some of these mythical cities whose origins span thousands of years. Number 5. Arcadia or Utopia Arcadia is used in legends to describe a serene, peaceful place in which to raise your cattle and is a symbol of harmony with nature. The name is derived from the Greek province of the same name. The name was later used to describe an idyllic and peaceful piece of unspoiled land. Sounds like a perfect vacation spot if you ask me. The garden is often inhabited by shepherds. The concept also figures in Renaissance mythology. It is commonly thought of as being in line with utopian ideals, but Arcadia differs from the tradition in that it is more specifically regarded as unattainable. Also, it is seen as a lost, Edenic form of life, contrasting to the progressive nature of utopian desires. Number 4. El Dorado We all know of El Dorado thanks to the popular animated movie The Road to El Dorado, but there's much, much more to this story. El Dorado, meaning the Golden One, started because one man covered himself with gold dust and submerged himself in Lake Guatavita. The legend surrounding El Dorado changed over time, which is how it went from being a man to a city to an empire. A second location for El Dorado was rumoured, which inspired several unsuccessful expeditions in the late 1500s in search of a city called Manoa on the shores of Lake Palmime. In pursuit of the legend, Spanish conquistadors and numerous others searched Colombia, Venezuela and parts of Guyana and northern Brazil, but ultimately failed. Number 3. Shangri-La Shangri-La is a name from the 1933 novel Lost Horizon by British author James Hilton. The word quickly became synonymous with an earthly paradise, which is how we know the name now. In Lost Horizon, the people who live at Shangri-La are nearly immortal, living hundreds of years past for normal human lifespan. Sign me up! In ancient Tibetan scriptures, existence of seven such places is mentioned. Kembulang is one of the seven Belus or hidden lands believed to have been created as an idyllic sacred place of refuge for Buddhists during times of strife. Number 2. Asgard So, by now, everyone who's seen the Thor movies knows of Asgard. It is one of the nine worlds of the Norse religion. One of Asgard's well-known realms is Valhalla, in which Odin, Thor's father, rules. Asgard is surrounded by an incomplete wall, attributed to Hirmthurs riding his horse, Savo Lifari, according to Galfa Ginning. Number 1. Camelot Camelot is a castle associated with the legend of King Arthur but started in 12th century French romances. Then the Lancelot Grail, a major source of Arthurian legend, was written, and that is how it came to be associated with King Arthur. The story is located somewhere in Great Britain, and sometimes associated with real cities, though more usually its precise location is not revealed. Thank you for watching. Can you think of anything else that could be included in this list? Let us know in the comment section. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more daily content. We also have a website you can check out at www.neoxide.com.